this is Karen Lefrac with KSL Collective and Keller Williams on the Water. And today with me, a special guest, Josh Lefrac, who <laughs> also happens to be my husband. Shh. <laughs> so Josh is the president of Lift Up Consulting. Um, he, you know, him and I have been kind of immersing ourselves for years now in personal development and, you know, and leadership and, and how do you live a good, balanced, amazing, you know, life of your dreams kind of thing. And Josh has, uh, aside from having um, Lift Up Consulting, has also been in professional uh, sports, uh, consulting professional athletes for 20 years uh, plus. So, about that, yeah. yeah, so as we're creating a brand new year, 2020, 2021 is finally here. Woohoo! Uh, why don't you offer us some tips like leadership, personal growth, creating a powerful 2021 for all of us? Yeah, no problem. So, one of the things that, that jumps out at me is here we are, boom, new year, resolutions, 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 whatever. That's great. Set them, set them all you want. But here's the thing great Malcolm X once said, tomorrow belongs to those that prepare for the future, right? They're preparing today for what's gonna happen in the future. He was talking mostly about education and why it's so important, but what I'm talking about is really preparing for what's gonna come down the road. And so whilst we're jumping into a new year and everybody thinks it's gonna be rosy and awesome, what we learned from last year in 2020 is that stuff happens that's completely out of our control that we have no clue what's gonna, what's gonna come and hit us. So rather than worrying about what could happen or what if, what we can do is we can prepare and we can have a plan for if I kind of stray away from my resolutions, if I stray away from my goals, if I stray away from what I want to accomplish. So, or what uh, happens when a coronavirus shows up? Right, just like we were talking Life about. Life just keeps coming at you. Right. So one of the things that we always talk about um, in the sports world is um, what Mike Tyson once said, and that is that everybody has a plan until they get hit in the face, and. What I'm saying is have a plan for when you get hit in the face. Like it's one thing to be super positive and optimistic and know, hey, I'm going to get this. This is going to this is going to happen. This is going to be wonderful. But what we know about success is it's never shoot, it's never a straight line, right? It's this jagged edges and, and ups and downs and valleys and whatnot. And so prepare for those. Have a plan, right? Expect the best, but prepare for the worst. And so that's one of the big things that I would say going into 2021. Make sure you have a plan for when you actually do get hit in the face because you're going to. You're going and to. Are you talking about like a written plan or are you talking about a mental plan or all of it? Yeah, I, I would say writing down a mental plan. Okay. So a written mental plan. So in other words, for, for example, a lot of the baseball players I work with, they'll have a routine to get themselves back in order when they find that they're, the game is speeding up on them, when things are going a little bit too fast. So they'll step off the mound or step out of the batter's box. They'll take a deep breath. They'll look up. They'll see something in the stadium. They'll focus on that for a second and just kind of clear their mind. <sighs> then they'll get themselves back in order and then they'll reset and they'll remind themselves what their plan is and then they'll go and address that plan. Almost like a mini meditation. Absolutely, 100% yeah. like a mini meditation. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. And so that's the kind of same thing here. You're going to set a plan. A lot. I'll use this, getting in shape. A lot of people, hey, I'm going to get in shape this year. Right? And they're going to go to the gym for the first three or four days and then all of a sudden life happens and they get pulled this way and they get pulled that way and they get pulled this way. So one of the things that I, I would say is like have a plan for when you can't get to the gym. And maybe it's just doing 15 push-ups. I'm gonna just commit to 15 to 20 push-ups today. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get those done somewhere, somehow. And I think right? what you're touching on is also creating creating habits, right? Habits uh, 100%. That, habits that last, right? So what do we do when, again, this is the whole thing about resolutions, New Year's resolution. Everybody creates something and then you fall back into old habits. So give us a tip about what do you do to create new habits that last? Yeah, small little bites, right? How do you how do you, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So do one small new thing this week, whatever whatever I be, right? You're going into 2021, and what is that one small new thing? Karen and I have a great habit. Every morning we wake up and we meditate for 10 to 15 minutes, uh, and then we'll go and exercise. I've added a piece to that. I walk the dog in the morning, and what I do is I listen on my phone to some inspirational uh, meditations, stories, thoughts, whatever it might be. I'll just scroll through YouTube and look for some inspiration stuff. But I added that, and that's one little thing that I've added. And the one amazing thing is that we have is that that just reminds me is create a, some kind of a uh, structure for accountability. Because a lot of times our brain will trick us to like, ah, eh, do it, not do it. We don't notice. Like to have another person to partner with, you know, yes. whether it's a friend, a neighbor, a family member 
create this game where you can keep each other accountable so you can keep those good habits in place until they become a habit. Yeah, the special operations, uh, Naval Naval Special Operations, the Navy SEALs, they call it having a swim buddy. And, and everybody, when they go through their training, uh, initially they, everybody has to have a swim buddy. And so you fail if they don't succeed as well. Um, so, But they hold each other accountable. But yeah, that's exactly right, have a swim buddy. Awesome. Thanks for being my swim buddy. No problem, babe. Let's jump in the pool. <laughs> we can jump Let's in the jump pool. Let's jump in the pool. The go canal. swimming. <laughs> we'll go swimming. That's yes. it. That's it. So, so I hope we provide you with some value today uh, for the new year to create a powerful new year. I wish you all a very wonderful 2021 and may all your wishes come true. And if you have any questions about real estate and leadership and how to create everything you've wanted with you know, uh, either a brand new home, or relocating, or uh, an investment that will give you financial freedom to live the life that you love, give me a call. KSL Collective. Thanks, Josh. My pleasure. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day, everybody. Have a great year.